a video clip, like a product demonstration, a software technique, or a process illustration, can be a great addition to your presentation. If that video is on YouTube, and you want to play it in a Microsoft Teams meeting, that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Now, PowerPoint does have a built-in way to include YouTube videos on a slide. I want to show you a different technique. I want to show you how playing it in your browser gives you more control over the section of the video that's being played and allows you to include closed captioning. When you've found a video that you want to use in your presentation from YouTube, the first step is to go and review that video. So find the URL either here in the address bar or using the share button here and copy that URL and paste it into a new browser tab. Why do we want to do this? Because we want to start the video from the start. Because we want to check out, does it have any ads? If it has any Dave ads 30. at the start, if it has any ads in the middle, if there are any things that pop up on the screen, we want to watch it all the way through to make sure that the segment that we want to use is clean and it's going to be good for our presentation. So watch for all of those things and then take a note of when do you want to start and when do you want to end that video segment? See, it's not a good idea to try to use a really long video segment. Something under 30 seconds usually works quite well, especially on a Teams meeting, where what happens is if it's too long, people start to check out and they go and check their email. So in this case, I'm going to look for the segment that I want. And I've already looked at this. And so I know it starts at three minutes and six seconds. So it's three minutes and six seconds is where I want to be. So I find that in the video and then I take note of the start time and the end time. Not the start time and the duration, the start time and the end time because that's what you're going to see when you're playing the video. So I've noted what the URL is. I've noted what the uh, time for start and end are. So now I've reviewed the video, I've got that information. Step number two is to set up the PowerPoint slide. So when we're setting up the PowerPoint slide, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you give people context. So use the text, whether it's either in the headline here or whether it's uh, some text somewhere else on the slide, but always make sure you give context for what this video segment is going to show them. The audience needs to know why they should watch this video and pay attention. So what you want to do is you want to write a good headline and then what you can do is you can put an image, a screen capture of the segment that you're going to use. Just take a screen capture from you know, something close to the start or something relevant so that people know it's a video and they know what you're going to talk about. In the notes section, add the video URL, the start time and the stop time. This is important because for those people who are looking at this presentation afterwards, they want to know where within this video segment should I be looking at? Is it the whole video or, oh no, it's here's the start and here's the stop. What I also like to do is I like to link this image to the YouTube video. So after I've added the image, I go to insert and link, and then I can add that link here as a hyperlink. Now you're not gonna use that in your presentation, but sometimes it's helpful for people who are looking at the presentation slides afterwards that they can cursor over and they can see, oh, that it is linked. I should go and check out this video. Step three is to prepare the video before your presentation. So you want to load up this video again. You play, paste it into the address bar, uh, let it play through the ads and then pause it and then set the timer to where you want it to be. So uh, I don't want it at the start. What I need is, again, I look back, it's three minutes and six seconds. So I get to uh, that point that I want here. Close enough, uh, three minutes and six seconds. So I get that set up uh, and I check the volume, make sure that the volume is up on the video. Also check the volume on your computer to make sure that it's loud enough so the audience is gonna be able to uh, hear it. And then what I always like to do is to use theater mode. So theater mode is within YouTube, it's this button here, you click on that. And what it does is it makes the video much larger in the window. It takes those up next or recommended videos and puts them down below as opposed to seeing them all on the side. If you wanna use closed captioning for this video, that's what the CC button here in YouTube does. So when you turn that on, it'll show you exactly what the captions are. And you'll notice there was a uh, message up at the top there. If you click on the settings, that's where you can set the language here. 
as well as some of the options. So in the options you set what font, what color, size. I typically will set 150%. I find that you need it bigger than 100% to be easily seen. But you can set those settings. Most of the defaults are fine except for the size. So we set those and now we're ready to go. We're ready to play our video during our presentation. Again, you don't have to have closed captioning on, but I just wanted to show you how you can turn it on. To turn it off, just click on the closed captioning button again. The final step is to actually play the video during your presentation in Teams. So I'm in Teams, I'm sharing my slides here, and I have reached the point where I want to play this video. So I introduce the video, letting people know that I want to show them a very helpful technique uh, it's called control drag to duplicate an object or an image. I'm going to play a short video clip so you can see exactly how it works in PowerPoint. Then what I'll do is I'll close the sharing of the PowerPoint slides in Teams. It will go back here and now what I'll do is I'll share the browser window but before I click on the window for the browser I'm going to click this box here, Include System Audio. This is critical because you need to make sure that the audio is going to be transmitted to the Teams and to all the participants. Now what I'll do is I'll select my Chrome window, and now I can click Play. When I do that... So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this portion of the image. The way we do that, very quick tip here, going to save you a lot of time, is hold the Control key down, and when your cursor moves notice that little plus sign that just showed up so when I now drag this is called duplicate so so notice what I did is after I pressed play I moved the cursor off the timeline so it went away I let the video play and then I pressed pause when the segment was done that I wanted to show people now that the video segment is done I can stop sharing the browser go back to teams and here I can go and use the sharing button to go back to sharing my PowerPoint presentation. It's back to my PowerPoint presentation and I continue on with the rest of my slides. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.